Hey everybody, welcome to Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. You know the show where we pick an actor and then we decide and tell you about our three choices of their best performances. I'm Peter. And I'm Frank. Alright. Alrighty. Hey, Tid um, boy, yes, I got a little question for you. Yes. What do we got? Um, if you had to pick like a, no, you know what? No, you know, I'm just no. trying to think of a good oh. way to, 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 to phrase this. I want you to fill in the blank at the end. We need more movies set in blank. And you can throw in a location or a time oh and space goodness. or just, just finish that. Wow. Finish that that rant from a drunk in a bar somewhere. You know what we need? We need yeah. more movies set. You know, and wow. So okay. yeah, just you know, sort of a Sort of a drunk in a bus station kind of oh question boy. there. So okay, because usually when a question like that is yelled in a bus station, you go, "Hey, I'm gonna go sit over there." That's right. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. So that's the um, that's right. the question I have for you today. We are gonna talk about Halle Berry. You said it. She's Halle amazing. Berry. So um, super cool. Halle I'm Berry. gonna start well, because well. I feel like talking quite a bit today. Um, it's never huge, stopped you before. Huge, um, she's she's got a she's got a, a, a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with um, this is kind of an older movie, uh, Bullworth. Bullworth, um, I love that. It's probably one of the earliest movies I I noticed her in. Spoiler and alert! It's on my list. It's on your list too. Great. Um, she's great up against uh, Warren Beatty, mm -hmm. and it's. Um, it's just a, a great, she's, she's smart and she's funny. Yes. And there's this one, this, this is the one that kind of put this on my list. This is a scene where they're like in the back of a limo or something like yes, that. Yes, yes. And, and he's asking her um, what, you know, about jobs. And so the, you know, he asks her this sort of broad, almost a condescending kind of policy question. Mm -hmm. And she goes into this rant about why there are no, there aren't more like black leaders yes. in America. And she's like, well, you know, cause you keep killing them all. And, uh, but then she goes into this whole thing about manufacturing and where the manufacturing base is and where there are jobs and why is, why is there no inspiration? Oh, yeah. And she just, blah, 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 and just bangs it out. And he is just dumbfounded like, I did not expect such a well-organized, coherent um, answer from you yeah. on that. So um, I really, really love her in that. Really, really great in that. Um, I guess my next one after that would be Monsters Ball, which spoiler alert that on your street. Right? Wow! Uh oh, we're um, two for two. We're two for two. I think I saw that movie when it came out. All right. Oh, yeah. And it got yeah. a lot of hype. She got an Oscar. Yeah. And yeah. it was, but I remember sort of being like, eh, about the movie in, in general and mostly about the Billy Bob Thornton character. I think that mm. Helen Barry's portrayal of this, this widow, Sean Combs, who does an amazing job in that. I, I rewatched it sort of prepping for this. So yeah, I was sort of so did I. reminded yeah. of all this. Um, and I think that overall, I think I'm still in that sort of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great performance in an overrated movie, I think. Um, so it has its um, moments, definitely has its moments. Yeah, but I think that all those moments are are with her. She shines. Heath Ledger. I was going to say those. sometimes the Heath Ledger performance is yeah, pretty good, and that's really good in that good one. Stuff, yeah. But I I I think that her there's just so much desperation and just oh, sort yeah. of um, like being in a rough situation. There's just like like everything goes wrong for this woman. Her, yeah. you know, her husband's yeah. in jail. And then her son gets killed, and yeah. it's just, and it's so tragic, and really through no fault of her own. You know, she's flawed as a human. Oh, she's definitely. a very well-rounded character. Yeah. She's flawed as a mom. Oh, yeah. She will she's occasionally definitely. lash out at the son. Oh yeah. Um, but she she loves her son obviously, and she's you know she's angry at her husband for getting himself into so much trouble, and mm -hmm. you know, they kill him off. You know, the his his he's. 
X he's, you know, executed. Um, so, but um, her, she, it's so powerful. And that scene where she and Billy Bob get together for the first time. The first time, yeah. And because I'm watching, I'm just like, all right, I'm going to really try to pay attention as to why this happens. Because with his character, it, 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 I don't like his character. And I don't want to get into a whole discussion about the yeah. movie as a whole. Yeah. I want to talk about her. But her whole thing is just like she just wants to feel something good. Because all that she's been feeling up to this point is just pain. And you she got just, it. just to make me feel, feel good. good. Comfort me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is that the base. And it's it's a physical relationship. But it's it's not a carnal. I mean, it's. They have sex, but it's not like a like a carnal we're gonna fuck kind of thing. And it's and, uh, you know, it's a uh, like yeah, it's, it's almost for you know what I want to do this if for no other reason than to get to the other end of it where I'm being held and I feel safe and I'm being taken it's care of. It's almost like the they're end. both doing it for a therapeutic value. Like I don't, you know what I mean? I don't like even, just uh, need his, to, nobody even says you know I love you or I'm interested. They just. They, yeah. It just sort of, I, uh, uh, two people who need a person. Yeah. And um, and she's just so down and out. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah. It's um, it's you you feel so bad for her, and that I think is a great is a great hallmark of a of a great performance is mm -hmm. that you this person makes you feel something and I'm dead inside generally. So for yeah, me to yeah. feel anything is amazing. So, um, she's just, she blows me away in that. Um, but again, the movie's overrated. Billy Bob Thornton's character is written so weird. Um, you don't understand why he's all of a no. sudden like a decent person. Cause he's not. A decent person, but all you know, of, you but know, all when of a I sudden, saw, when I saw it again uh, just a few days ago, he improved a little in my eyes from what I remembered. I thought he was even worse in my memory. He's a little better, but yeah, because you're still not sure. He, and I don't think it's Billy Bob Thornton. I do think it's the way it's written. It's things that uh, you know, like, his, but anyway. You don't like his transformation makes no sense. And again, I don't want to. We'll we yeah. can talk about when we do a Billy Bob Thornton thing. We can talk about that character. Yeah. But um, anyway, my next Halle Berry, since she is the topic of the day. What you got? Um, I'm gonna go number like, three. John Wick three. Okay. Because it's she's just a complete badass and. I haven't seen her be a complete badass before. You know, she does a little bit here and there. Yeah, she's yeah. in a Bond she's movie the Bond, somewhere, yeah. but she's not a badass in a Bond. She is. She is a John Wick equal badass in that movie. Mm -hmm. And it is just, I want more of her. Oh my God, she's so great in that, and the dogs, and it's just so great. Have you seen? Have you seen the third movie? It's it's it, yeah. There's a is there a fourth one? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, they're doing another one. They're so, they're doing it. It hasn't come out, right? It hasn't come. Out. Okay, so um, COVID messed up everything. So, uh, but yeah, she's just such a badass, and she's so believable as a as a badass in that movie. Oh, it's yeah. just it's so great, and I love seeing. Her, um, it's 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 a nice change for her, as we all know. I'm a I'm a big fan of seeing actors do different things, mm -hmm. um, and it's really refreshing. And that's um, that's my my third Halle Berry movie. Very good. All right. Very good. What do you got? Well, we doubled up on two. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's just take the second to uh, remind our viewers: like and subscribe. We love to see comments. Give us suggestions. That sort of thing. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram. Instagram, that's the button. Yeah, yeah that, would, so. that would be the other one. Cool. All right. Go for it. What do you got? Uh, okay. I, I've already kind of tipped my hand. Yeah. I already said. Um, uh, yeah, we'll go to, to the first one. All right, go uh, Bullworth. Bullworth. It was an earlier one. Um, that 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 whole movie is uh, I I haven't seen it in a couple of years, but I've seen it a few times. At, you know, so I when it came out, and then I've, that one's a a very 
smart political yeah. movie. That one, yeah. that one, yeah. And uh, so th there's stuff going on with the Warren Beatty character and that brings him to the situation where it, he's just going to start he doesn't he he doesn't need to care about how he comes across the image anymore he can say what he feels and what he really knows the situation is because he feels his days are numbered because he's got a life insurance policy out on him yeah. because he's going to get killed because he's put a hit out on himself that's what it is um so he feels i could just say yeah, exactly how yeah. things are and, and how are things in government and how we treat people and think of people it is a smart political movie but unfortunately i think that gets overshadowed by the humorous premise <coughs> Excuse me. of this, you know, 50 something white guy, or six, yeah, whatever, the, however, old you know, he is. he's so, in the hood and he's yeah. dressed and he's rapping, right? And, um, and I think yeah. that that diminishes a little the, of that. some of the really interesting things that it has to say, oh, yeah, about politics in America. And this is a movie 30 years old, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, the, the other thing about that movie, I know we're talking about uh, Halle Berry, is that's one of that's, I think, the first time I noticed, um. Don Cheadle also, no, he's, yeah. he's in the movie. Uh, but uh, getting back to Halle Berry, yeah, she so she she's um, she's yeah smarter, more a little more polished than we yeah. than, than you think. Yeah, and then you know so she starts telling him, and then she's the one who brings him into what her reality is, what her life is. Yeah, and that um, and in this case. Uh, the African American community, and so he gets to spend time, yeah, not just meeting her family, but, but friends seeing her the world. friends and the, yeah, and just the neighborhood, and he gets to experience that, yeah. and so that opens up. They play off each other really, really Very well. well. Yeah, you know, really, a young Halle Berry. Yeah, she's young. you know yeah. um, going toe to toe with with Warren Beatty, who's you know Hollywood royal. And, and then it, and then the other there there is a little twist. Uh, see see this movie if, if when you get a chance. Um, there's a twist, uh, you know, about a would be assassin in the movie, and yeah. she's and she's and she decides not to <laughs> not to kill him. So there's that little yeah. angle. So that's that's a delightful uh, role. It it's and it's. It's not a huge role, but it's a juicy little yeah. uh, role. There. Yeah, like I said, so, it's that 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 scene in the backseat of that car. Yeah, you know, where she just goes. She off just on expounds. Just yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so that one that That's was definitely uh, my pick, and we overlapped on that one. And um, uh, Monsters Ball, another one, which we I, you know agree with you on that one. Uh, that one that one's problematic, as you started to say. There's like, yeah, she's. You know, she's in a bad situation. Her husband's on death row, and um, the son. I, I, I. There was a. There's a couple times where I do have trouble because she's not. She's not blameless. She's definitely flawed. I mean, she's physically and emotionally and verbally abusive to her son a couple of times, yeah. and it's and it's not comfortable. No, and um, she she does love him and she wants the best for him. But, you yeah, know, but she's this thing. still and equipped then, to sort of yeah. manifest that in a more positive way. Oh yeah, and then uh, the her son, who is uh, her only child, uh, gets a, is a, a hit and run situation. They're walking home, and the reason they're walking is because the car is right. is dead, and it's and so you know there's more trouble, more things just kind of heaped upon her, and like I said, she just. Um, when she gets together with the Billy Bob Thornton character, yeah, it's it's just wants just wants comfort, just yeah. wants to feel yeah. better than she does and has been feeling. Yeah, 
and, and that's, that's such a yeah. such a huge scene. And I see why not just that scene got her the Oscar, but I see her whole performance, why she got the Oscar. Yeah. Um, it's it's fantastic because you definitely like yeah she just she just wants to feel better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's there's some good see now. Uh, you you said that you liked the uh, the uh, Sean Combs. I, I I wasn't that impressed with that one. The one who impressed me was uh, Most Deaf. I liked yeah he was his, good too. I, I like that character a little yeah. better. There's a little more there's a little more to him. I guess I don't know whatever. But and then Peter Boyle is in that one. Not much to like about that. Well, no, there's person. not. Yeah. That's what. And there's a lot of, you know, how much does this affect the um, uh, the Billy Bob Thornton character? Just... And but though, like I said, I, I watched a couple days ago, and the Billy Bob Thornton character to me wasn't as bad as I remembered him to be. You know what I mean? I just thought in my mind his, I thought he was a little worse. His but... sort of shift was a little too abrupt. Is like, he's, He's, he, he sits by the water and eats some ice cream and all of a sudden he's going to quit his job. And I, I just don't, you know, just don't get it. He didn't seem to like his son enough for his right. death to bother him. So right. why why are you yeah. overturning your yeah, entire I, I don't know. life? He literally told the kid, I've always hated I've you. I've always hated you, yeah. So why is his death like, and if his death is supposed to be this big cathartic moment that... You know, I don't think I don't think it's his boy's death that does it. I don't know I, you what, know what it mean? is, and yeah. that's the thing. It yeah. isn't. It isn't. It isn't well articulate. Maybe, maybe I think it's based on a book. Maybe the book is better. I don't know. But I don't he know. does. Didn't, didn't he work. does ship off the father, and maybe that makes things a little better. Yeah, but I think that but that's still. a direct relation to how to to the father's reaction to Halle Berry. That has nothing to oh, do. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's just like, oh, he doesn't like her and he's going to mess this up for me. So psh, you're right, Dad. Yeah. So that almost makes sense. Oh, yeah. But for him to just, oh, I'm going to quit working at the prison. I'm going to buy a gas station. What is that about? Like, I, I just, just want the first start. I, I don't I get don't that. But, I just, I didn't write but there's nothing that, there's nothing obvious that compels that. No, first yeah. Start. It's, 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 it's a flawed movie with Even, a lot you know of people what? in it. All, but, they, yeah. all they would have had to do. Is like at that last second before Heath Ledger pulls the trigger. Yeah. Even even if Billy Bob's character went no no exactly yeah, something like that yeah. yeah would redeem that whole world. But again, we're beating up that movie. Right. Let's talk about let's, more let's, Halle let's, Berry. Let's, let's stick, who's your stick third? With Halle. So the who's third your third one, Halle Berry? And I'm just gonna preface this by saying it's not a very good movie. Just, you're it not, is what it is. You're not going to say Catwoman. No. Oh, God. No. Good. All right. Uh, it's a movie... Like I said, it's, it's, not that, it's not that good of a movie. Um, Gothica. Oh, yeah. That was a terrible movie. Yeah. Um, what I, She's decent what at I, it, though. What I like about it is... Oh, it's, it's a... She Supernatural so psychological yeah. thriller. It's weird. It's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> you can picture them pitching this. Yeah. So it's yeah. supernatural, but it's a thriller. And she kind of loses psychological her mind, she because it's psychological. Gonna, yeah. And it's she's, and she's a she wears cool clothes. Yeah. Uh, she's a psychiatrist what? at a woman's mental hospital. Yeah. And then Something happens abruptly, <laughs> exactly. and she's now a prisoner right. in the same prison that she worked with as a psychiatrist, and because she's on the prisoner side, you're kind of automatically assumed to be crazy. So nobody's gonna believe no you anyway. To her she you know so, this sort of thing. I mean, thing. her desperation in that is very real. You the kind of thing that I that. do like about it is that like I said, the movie's not good. There's there's so much of a physical, nonverbal yeah. performance in it, and that's kind of what attracts me to that uh, role. 
is because there's there's it's there's a physical thing. She's running a lot, you know, she's screaming yeah. a lot, right? Uh, sweating a lot, <laughs> um, you know, quivering uh, lip it's a lot. Such a, um, she's great. But yeah, you're right. It's not and a so great movie. In the, in in the the other thing is. If she weren't as decent in this movie, then you would have lost interest because she's the only character that you're concerned about. Yeah. You want to see, well, what's going on? Yeah. Is she going to figure this mystery out? Is she going to get out? Is she going to do this? Gonna... And if she weren't a little compelling, you just would have said, well, what's the point? Who cares? Yeah. You know. So there is that. And yeah. so I like that performance <laughs> because Such it's it's movie. this it is it's a bad movie. Uh, but I like it because there is a lot of uh, physicality to it and um it's there is a, a lot you know going on with their face and this nonverbal well, performance. I'm just glad that we all agree that Catwoman was terrible. Mm. I think that's the lesson we learn here folks. Catwoman was terrible. <laughs> So, um, let's recap. Yeah. You had, <laughs> you had Bullworth. And oh, yes. you had Monsters Ball. Uh, oh, I did. And you had Gothica. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sounds too much like Gattic. Yeah, there you go. A crappy Ethan Hawke movie. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. You had the two that we overlapped on. Bullworth and Monsters Ball. And your third pick, which we didn't mention together, you picked John Wick 3. Right. Yeah. And another thing with Monsters Ball, there is not a monster in that movie. Tell me about it. Certainly no ball. Well, anyway, um, I asked you a question. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I better hurry up and start thinking now. Quick, quick. All right. So, um, finish the sentence. Yes. Do it right off the cuff. We need more movies set in... Yeah, set in cement. No, we need... Um, I, at, Don't at, overthink. No, the first at, thing that comes at to your first, mind. I thought, this is, this, is, this is stupid. Oh, okay. yeah. The first thing I thought of was... Well, like 80 episodes in here, so we yes, got... Yes, exactly. No, the uh, first thing I thought is, you know, we need more movies set in circuses. And then all of a sudden, I started thinking... Oh, why did you say that? There are some movies set in circuses. And I go, oh, okay, that's a bad idea. Now hurry up and come up with something else. And then it's like, oh, we need, we need, I'll tell you what we need less of is we need less, <laughs> Just not we need less period pieces because sometimes all they want to do Carrie is. Carrie was a great movie. Carrie, Carrie is one of my favorites <laughs> of all the period pieces. Um, <laughs> I, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I get now. sick of these like, Things just going, hey, you know, let's just set a movie in the 70s because we got great wardrobe and hair and just, just keep doing that. And they just keep setting things in the 50s, 60s, or 70s. Or also, how many futuristic ones can we do? Oh, let's just take it out to space or something. Let's just do this one. Let's make a sci-fi thing. Okay, but, so, okay, so yeah. what, let's look what, the, where the other more. thing is, I, I think... There is opportunity in uh, in scenes of isolation, and so if, a, if you could have like thrillers, this sort of thing, where you're trapped, and I think a good location for that is, is a phone booth. when you're uh, no, <laughs> they did that already. Out or adrift at sea. Not like the Titanic where you're being both surrounded by a lot of people, but I'm talking like a smaller situation, fewer people, less chance for help, certainly maybe less opportunity by law and, you know, other forces that okay. could help you. And so sometimes that one, I think, which it has been done, like lifeboat and there's some things, but I think sometimes those situations could be explored and used. Sort of more. like a waiting for Godot. But on a boat! But on a boat! We're having a cruise here! <laughs> My dinner with Andre. But, but on a boat! Her. That's right, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet on a cruise ship. It's a lot of seafood. <laughs> um, but... And then Snagglepuss! <laughs> oh, let's just throw a hand of barbie. Let's make it animated! Right. 
All right. Oh, um, what? So, so um, okay. That, I, that I, question I though is so is so wide open though. Yeah. That's um. um yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It, it, uh, you know. Wow. I um. I did not have an answer for this question. When you I, asked me, and you don't even have an answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Um. So. Was trouble. I would. Um. I don't know. Where would I like to see something set? Um. See, for me, I I kind of I, I kind of go less kind of location and more yeah. in yeah, uh, that's a, a time. Yeah. So um, I I would love to see more stuff sort of set in uh, like the like the nineteen twenties like mm-hmm. in in Paris and and yeah. you know, Europe that kind of thing. So. Uh, no, and I know you. you it's like we're talking like writers and expatriates from from. No, that but that's time. a great so, time. Period. But that could be cool, and and you know, and like you were making fun of the costumes from the sixties and seventies. Yeah, I'm I mean, the clothing be fantastic. I, I'm, I'm not making fun of the costumes. I just meant it just seems like a crutch they keep using it all the time. No, just I, don't to, think it's a crutch. I just think that, colors. But I think marketing wise, I think that people who are going to go see those movies are very nostalgic. So I think yeah. that's why you see a lot of kind of eighties stuff. Kind oh of yeah, now, it's coming. Idiots our age who are just like. Yeah, I want to see them play in that like Mattel handheld football game that I had when I was a yep. kid. And so you got anyway, it. So, um, um, you know, you, you know the other thing though is too. It's it's when you talk about time periods where to where to set things. There's there's like certain there's certain eras that hardly ever get done. You know, like I don't know. Like the Dark Ages, twelve BC, like or no, even like like eleven hundred AD. Like you know, what stuff? What, what do they get set there? Do you ever see stuff like that one? No, it's 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 usually, you know, maybe eighteenth century. You're like in the United States with the Revolution, or you're in France with it's the Revolution. Stuff you know, this some stuff. Yeah, but it, not time. often though, not too often. Well, that's what people yeah. want to see. That stuff's expensive. in cavemen. Cavemen, you hardly get that one. One million Which is one eighty. Yeah. Anyway, folks. Um, oh, let's do the bucket. Let's see who we're talking about next. It's a good idea because we will just be sitting here the whole next episode and just going, yeah. "Hmm, I never picked anybody yeah, from the exactly. bucket." <laughs> Snagglepuss. What? <laughs> Where did you come up with what is Huckleberry Hound? What What is that? What and why is he in the bucket <laughs> wearing a hat and a tie and nothing else? I don't get it. He's a anyway. free spirit. I don't get it. He's a free spirit. <laughs> He's an exhibitionist. Well, pretty much. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. No, Very good. Cool. All okay. right. Great. That would be fun. And why is he blue? He's supposed to be. What a happened dog. to him? I don't know. Did he fall in a vat of dye? I don't know. All right, folks. Thanks for watching this episode of Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. Please remember to like and subscribe. Find us on Instagram and Facebook and uh, comments and all that yeah. good stuff. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.